Griddle Master. Cooking up the good stuff. Hey, Griddle Master Joe here with you. Today we are making Oysters Rockefeller. This is an incredible appetizer that we're going to incorporate hollandaise sauce in with it. We're going to be um, broiling it out on the griddle top. How can you broil on the griddle top? Well, stay tuned and take a look and see how we could do this with a Griddle Master griddle top. So I have already shucked the oysters. I have a pot of water here that is in a, a double boiler because in order to do the hollandaise sauce, we have to have the water boiling underneath and mix all the sauce up as we go. So we're gonna be doing that. I'm just letting you know what I have already prepared. I have three tablespoons of shallots. I have some minced garlic, butter that is at room temperature. I have three egg yolks. I have a bunch of spinach that we're going to do first and, and get it way down and uh, some water, some lemon juice, olive oil and pepper and that's all we need with some oysters. So we're going to add a little bit of olive oil here, three tablespoons of shallots, a little bit of garlic. and all this spinach. And all we want to do is we want to get wilt this, this spinach down. I have my, uh, all my burners set to low. In fact, I'm actually turning this half off because this meal doesn't use that much. The only, that much heat. Uh, what's gonna be important is when I go to want to broil the tops of the oysters. Okay, so I have this chopped up. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the bowl. So I'm gonna add in some lemon, lemon juice, squeeze like half a lemon, some water, about a tablespoon. So basically about a tablespoon of each water and lemon juice. And we're gonna also add in the three egg yolks, just the yolk. So if you could get that water boiling well, um, it would be best. So you could actually even do that out on the stove top if you want to do it faster, or it will work here on the, on the griddle top. In this case, you do want all your burners. So I have these three burners on high because I want it to go through and heat this water up. So what we're looking for is we want this to thicken up a little bit. The egg yolk, the water, the lemon juice. I'm going to go ahead and add some pepper. You could do white pepper if you have it. Um, I have black pepper. The only thing with the black pepper is then you see the black flakes in it where white pepper would make the hollandaise sauce look prettier and it's already thickening up I could see it all right so if you see from the camera looking down you see how nice and creamy this is so that's the consistency we wanted so I'm gonna pull my cooling rack here 
I'm going to place our oysters on. Now you want to try to place them in such a manner that they'll stay. Sometimes it's a lot easier said than done. So we're going to put a little bit of spinach and garlic and shallots in each here. And now for a little trick. For those pesky ones that don't want to sit upright, we just put a little aluminum foil. Now we're just going to take some of this hollandaise and drip it in. I like to coat it all if I can. I don't know if I'll have enough. So let me just put a little in each for right now. So now we're going to take the handle it and we want to cover these all up to create our broiler effect. So now it's like they're in the broiler, the heat's coming up, it's going to go and cover all that. And hopefully I have, I have my burners on high still. I have three burners on high, so it's pumping a lot of that heat in there. It's pumping a lot of that heat in there, hopefully, to, to brown the top of that hollandaise sauce. Let me see how that tastes. Tastes like hollandaise sauce. Wow, that's going to be really good. That spinach and shallots and a little bit of garlic with the lemon taste of the egg whites and just that combination with oysters is phenomenal. Now we don't want to, we don't want to ignore these. We need to check on them because that heat's coming off. It's smacking that front row of those oysters. So it's only been about a minute and a half probably. And there you go, look at that, they're already starting to brown. Like I said, probably three minutes, it's going to be done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rotate. See how what used to be the front row is nice and, nice and toasty. So halfway through, halfway through when you do it on the griddle top, when you're, like if you had a, a dome like my other grill that, that pulls down, it has a bigger area to work. You wouldn't have to rotate them like that. But since it's coming up right here and hitting them right away, we have to be uh, aware of that. So I'm only expecting probably another minute and these are gonna be done. 
But again, we don't want to ignore them. Next time I pick that up, we're going to be done. So Oysters Rockefeller on a Griddle Master Griddle Top. Remember, the Griddle Master Griddle Top, what makes us different from all these, since I've been doing this, now all these things are popping up all over the stores, griddle tops, but they're elevated. You have to use a lot of heat in order to get them hot. With us, we're able to cook on low with 99% of what we cook. All right, I heard that pop. I think it's telling me it's done. Hey, Mrs. Griddle Master's here. Wow, look at those. Now you want to let them cool off a little bit because they are on fire. How you doing? Good. How can you cook? So let me tell you a quick story about Mrs. Griddle Master and Griddle Master Joe. We had went to Orlando, yes, Orlando, yeah. and we ate at the Palm Restaurant. Shout out to the Palm. Hey, the Palm, it's one of our favorite places. So I ordered Oysters Rockefeller. Now Mrs. Griddle Master will try one and she'll eat it and I get the other five. Except this day, at this restaurant, she ate them all. I got one, she got five. <laughs> so we ended up having to order more. So then our last anniversary, it's two o'clock in the afternoon and I was like, hey, we're in Miami, Miramar. And I said, Mrs. Grillmaster, where do you want to go for our anniversary? And she said, the Palm. So within a half hour, we got in the car and we drove three and a half hours so we could have Oysters Rockefeller with hollandaise sauce mm -hmm. at the Palm. <laughs> so I hope this is Measures up? Yeah. No. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. So anyway, let's plate these things. So we, in, because of us being living in Hawaii for so long, this is Hawaiian sea salt. So look how pretty. And that's how they come at the palm. They have a bed of salt, and they just set them on. because it helps them to be balanced with the rocks, I guess, the rock salt. I'm just hoping I don't drop one. Okay, it looks like I fit five on there comfortably. So, um, let me set this somewhere. I'm going to set that there. And let me use this spoon. Mm. <laughs> Would you like to try an oyster, Rockefeller? It might be hot. I think they're still hot. So I'm going to let you guys know that I, I'm not a shucker. So what I ended up doing is I ended up boiling some water and dropping you know, steaming them open a little bit so I could open them so they were like partial cooked. Um, I'm wasting time so that way it cools off for Mrs. Griddle Master. But I just wanted to let you guys know that's what I did. So as we zoomed in, you could see, hey, these were partially cooked. They were not raw all the way because I don't know how to shuck an oyster well. And I didn't Google it. And I didn't want to rip my hand open either. But you could do oysters, you could do clams, you know, whatever you could get your hands on, this will be amazing. I hope it tastes good. Hope it didn't burn me. You want to do it? 
Do I hold it? Is that hot? Is that good? Is it? Mm-hmm. Look, I gave it to her first. Was, was it real hot? Hey, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's hot out here. It's still the palm. I still, because guess <laughs> what? I don't have to sweat to do it, but this <laughs> was pretty good. Yeah, I think. All right. So we're going to go and take some pictures. And, um, what? Nothing. Did you, did you sense anything? No. No little bunny foo foo? Oh. I bunny eared her. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's real simple. You saw how fast. I, what was it? Like 10 minutes and we're done kind of thing. So Oysters Rockefeller on a griddle, master griddle top. If you like this video, please like us on Facebook. On Hey, Griddle Master Junior Junior is on social media. He is rocking Griddle Master. So if you want to shout out to Griddle Master Junior, he's the one that's going to be responding. And when he gets the real hard questions, hey, dad. <laughs> he, but he, he loves cooking just as much as I do. Griddle Master Dave's going to get involved. Um, that's the cameraman. You don't know all the fights we get in over how we're going to film and what we're going to film. We're trying to do better. Hope you guys enjoy this. Like us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Don't forget to ring the bell. That way you will see this video as soon as it comes up. This is Mrs. Griddle Master. If y'all want to see her do her own thing, then let her know in the comments. Say, hey, Mrs. Griddle Master, we want to see you cook, not just your old man talking too much. That, that's what they say. No. Yeah. All right. Take it easy, guys.